Hi guys, I'm Ms. H and I'm standing on the Paramus campus in our wet lab classroom and I'm going to talk to you quickly about order of the draw. What is that? It's what order we draw the tubes when we do a phlebotomy stick on a patient. Does it matter? Yes, it matters. It's one of the most common questions that we get and it's a stickler on the NHA exams. It's the one that people seem to stumble over the most. So I thought I would run through it quickly. What color order the tubes are drawn in, what additives are in the tubes, and what common tests we draw in those tubes. Okay, so the very first thing that you're gonna draw, if it's ordered, are these blood cultures, okay? These are blood culture bottles. There's two of them. You'll draw two sets and they have to be drawn from two different sites, okay? Meaning different spots. So either arm, hand and arm, two different places, usually 10 to 15 minutes apart, okay? But not every facility has blood culture bottles. Why not? They're expensive. So if you don't have blood culture bottles, you're going to draw light yellow, okay? Light yellow. If you don't have blood cultures, and typically you're drawing blood cultures if you work in a hospital. If you work in a doctor's office, you won't see them very much. Even in urgent care, I don't see them all that much. So it goes in this order, light blue, okay? Inside here is sodium citrate. This is for coagulation studies. So PT, PTT, INR all go in light blue, okay? Next is your gel, your gel tubes, okay? So tiger, speckled, gold, and if you have the mint. These are both serum separator tubes. See the gel in the bottom? Mint color is plasma separator. These are your chemistry panels. Go in here. Electrolytes, um, your um, cholesterol, lipid panel, thyroid panels, all go in here, okay? After that, if you have a green, you can draw it then. Green has sodium heparin in it, okay? Lithium heparin. Green has lithium heparin in it, all right? So if you have a green, that's dark green, not the same thing as mint. If you have a dark green, you draw it then. Next, lavender, okay? Lavender is EDTA. Anything that's hematology studies goes in here. So most common drawn in here, CBC. ESR also goes in here, erythrocyte sedimentation rate. Now, after that, it do, after that, if you have a gray, you can draw a gray. Gray has glucose, gray has lactate levels. Those typically will go on ice. After gray, it doesn't matter what order you draw the stuff. So if you have a dark blue, a navy blue, you can draw it then. Uh, you'll do lead levels, heavy metal levels in the, in the dark blue. Pink. Pink is the same as lavender. If you run out of lavender tubes, you can use a pink in place of it. They both have EDTA in them. Usually if I draw a pink, it's for a blood bank specimen. So type and cross match, type and screen. Typically we see going a pink. All right. It doesn't necessarily matter what size either. So I have small speckles here. I have big speckles here. They both have the same additive inside. They can be used interchangeably. If I have a doctor order a whole bunch of tests on a patient, I'm going to use the bigger ones. If they only order one test on a patient, I might use a smaller one, but it doesn't matter. Otherwise they're the same thing. Okay. So let's review this quick. Very beginning. I have either blood cultures or light yellow, light yellow. These are for blood cultures, okay? After that, I have light blue, sodium citrate, coagulation studies. Then I have the gel tubes. So serum separator, plasma separator, gold, speckled or tiger top, or mint if you have one. Lavender has EDTA. CBC, hematology studies, ESR. After that is gray. And then after that, it doesn't matter what order they're drawn in. Pink can be interchanged with lavender, both have EDTA. If you have a tan, if you have a navy blue, a royal blue, those get lead levels, those get heavy metal levels. 
doesn't matter after your lavender, okay? So the only exception on this is if you have a light blue and you're gonna use a butterfly. If your patient is a difficult stick and you need to use a butterfly, before you draw directly into your blue tube, you need to do a waste tube. So we'll typically do that with a red tube. What additive does red have inside it? Nothing. Red has nothing inside it. And look out, because that's an NHA test question I find. Red has nothing in it, okay? So why do we need to draw a waste tube if I'm gonna use a butterfly to draw a light blue? Because there is just enough of that sodium citrate in this light blue tube to perfectly mix with the blood if the tube is full, which it should be. We should fill this tube every time. If I use a butterfly, there's all that tubing. So the air that's in that tubing is gonna get displaced into here and whatever air goes in here, because remember, these are a vacuum. Vacutainer systems have a vacuum. So the air that's in the tubing will suddenly be in your tube instead of the perfect amount of blood, and this will throw off your test a bit. So we'll start filling some of the red one instead. If you have a test ordered that can go in a red tube, great. Fill the red tube, use the red tube. If not, do part way of the red tube, pitch it, throw it in the biohazard bin, and fill your blue one all the way, okay? All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. Good luck on your exams.